Hey, bro. Thanks for lending me the buzzer. Love what you've done with the paintwork. Real subtle. Stealth attack shit. That's what I do, motherfucker! Sneak up on them bitches! Hide in the fucking sand, then flow! I'm a cobra! I'm a cobra in the sky! Fly with my cobra wings! I'm the executive flying cobra! When I stick my tongue in you, you know you've been poisoned! Uh, 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 I'm glad there could be a resistance anyway. Well, exactly. Thanks. I appreciate it. who was asking about gold cookers and corpses. Yeah, I'm sorry we couldn't accommodate. I did not take you for the sensitive type. God damn it! What's going on? Yo, T. Where have you been? I got here as soon as I could, bro. Oh, man, Louise Gracie. Louise Gracie. What about Gracie? They got Gracie. She's gone. Evan's dead. Hell, Gracie. Fuck Evan. Who's got Gracie? I, I don't know. So what are you talking about, bro? Where is she? I, I, some guy's at war with her father, I guess. I don't know. Hey, Gracie's pretty tough. She's a princess. She's a tough princess. Oh, they fucking hurt her. Yeah, they'll have you, me, and my family to deal with. <laughs> you never liked her. You never did. You never liked anyone. That's not true. I like her. No, you didn't. She's my favorite go -kart. Oh, and what makes you so good, huh? <laughs> if it wasn't for me, you'd be selling dime bags on a street corner. I made you. Yeah, and she and Evan made you into a junkie, okay? I mean, she's not a bad person. Okay, she's not a murdering, greedy psychopath like me. She's so hard. 
don't know if you can get past the accent, okay? But she made you into a useless old queen to act out on blowing pills to notice his business is going to shit. Oh, here we go, huh? Here we fucking go, huh? Oh, I see it in your eyes. You're embarrassing me. You see me and think, oh, this is it. This is the moment to put me down. This is the moment when the apprentice takes over, huh? Oh, man. You think I'm done? You're not so fucking tough, Luis. And hey, you're not so smart, you dumb junkie. Fuck! Oh, yeah. Fuck you, Luis! Oh, come on, Tony. Chill out. Oh. Lord, no. You're right. You're right. You're not the one with the problem. I am. <laughs> Tony, what the fuck are you doing? No, I'm holding you back. I see that now. I see that now. You're the closest thing I've ever had to a son. I'm sorry, Luis. I love you. Tony. Goodbye. Tony, c c come on, man. Goodbye. I love you. Shit! Shit! Fuck! What the fuck is wrong with you, you dumb prick? Huh? Get up! Get up so I can kill you myself! Get up! Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I just, I just couldn't take it anymore. Come on. Get up. Get up, you old bastard. Huh? Let's, come, let's go find Gracie, okay? Okay. Oh. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit, Luis. We should go and get the Ancelotti's chopper. It's just on the other side of the booth tunnel. What are we gonna do with a chopper? What do you think we're doing on this outing? We're looking for Gracie. You got any ideas where we might start doing that? It's a big city, though. I may be semi-suicidal, but I'm not completely stupid, Luis. You ain't even semi-suicidal, T. You're just overdramatic. I wouldn't be surprised if that gun was just a movie prop. We've been in enough shit recently for me to carry something a little bit more dangerous than a prop gun. You think you'd know enough with all the shit we've been in to take the safety off a gun before you use it? Fair point. I'll get a post-it note for the next time. Disengage before a suicide attempt. Self-indulgent cry for help, you mean. Okay. I need your help, Luis. You're all I've got left. You happy now? I said it. Well done. You win, jackass. Okay, bro. Where are we looking for this girl? There's some lowlifes and dukes who might be involved. Losers even by current mob standards, which is saying something. You from dukes, ain't you? I try to forget about that. Okay, so we head over there and do what? Land on the roof and ask them where they got Gracie? We've just got to follow them. See if they take us anywhere interesting. Okay, bro. Let's hope for the best. Who knows what they could have done to that girl? She could be dead at the bottom of the West River now. Or she could be driving some son of a bitch kidnapper Gracie. I wouldn't wish that nasal whining voice on the worst guy out there. Gracie's got my backing over some chump hook from dudes. You're right, that could be the smart bet. The old man said something interesting to me, by the way. Oh yeah? What do he say? That he's blaming us for this whole thing. That if we get her back, or well, we're dead. That's definitely interesting. How the fuck did he get that in his head? I barely know the girl. It's the diamonds, Lou. Rocco's had a word with him. Motherfucking Guido here, Joe Cabron. Shit! I just got forward a photo of Gracie from the kidnappers. The girl does not look good. Hey, who knows? Found and gag? Might be the look for Guido Slus next season. Anyway, look at the bright side. At least she's alive. They keep the chopper. Come on, hurry up, man. to Cerveza Heights. Their house is over there. So, this isn't about Gracie? It's about saving our own asses? Yes, this is a purely selfish act. Are you happy now? Yeah, strangely I am. Now that I've realized I'm being blackmailed into doing this, it's become a lot clearer. Great. How are we gonna get out of this, Tom? What? All this shit piling down on top of us. How are we gonna get out? 
Have we got a plan? I don't know. We could play the lottery, start a little Ponzi scheme, buy some cheap diamonds and try to sell them at our profits. Oh wait, we've tried that, and it's not going so well. Fair enough. You could marry a billionaires. That might get us out of our problems. Oh yeah, I've already been ripped off once, T, and I nearly got killed because of it. I'm serious, Lou. Most of the girls in the city have fallen in love with you at least once. How come you can't manage to find a rich one? Because I ain't like that. I wish I had your principles, genius. At least you'll have a nice message on your gravestone. Mine will just say, here lies unpopular fag. What the fuck's gone into you? I don't know. I'm sorry, I'm stressed, all right? Aren't we all? That's the house, up there. is leaving. Follow it. I hope he's not paranoid. He just kidnapped the mob boss's daughter. He's got every reason to believe some of the most unpleasant cats on the eastern seaboard are about to knock down his door and rip out his tongue. If he ain't fucking paranoid, then he's fucking stupid. Then he's probably going to see us, isn't he? The first thing a paranoid man looks for is a chopper. Even after a half nostril full of blow, I'm hearing rotor blades and squinting at the sky. This is Liberty City, man. There must be 20 helicopters in this airspace at any given time. He ain't gonna think this chopper's got anything to do with him. Don't doubt the imagination of a man on the brink. Okay, bro. He might suspect we're chasing him. Let's hope he starts panicking and does something stupid. Nothing as stupid as ordering a hit on poor little Gracie Ancelotti. If he thinks he's paranoid now, it's nothing in comparison to the heat he feel if you order the death of a boss's girl. The heat would be on us as well, Lou. So let's hope he ain't as stupid as we've been led to believe. Stop driving suspiciously, Lou. He'll get wise to us. Get wise? What are we, in some gumshoe novel now? I'm driving as unsuspiciously as you can when your boss only forked out for a weekend helicopter course. If he's getting wise, it's because you're a tight ass. You being anti-Semitic now? Nice. Next you'll call me a fan. Oh, yeah. Play the minority car. Very clever. Unfortunately, I'm a minority too, so fuck you. What's he going back to the park for? He on to us? He's just going for a drive, T. Come on, you dumb dukes, fuck! Take us to her! You yell loud enough, he might just hear you. Maybe if we concentrate hard enough, we can will him to go there. I thought you got over that spiritual shit when you stopped dating the yoga instructor. There are things that stick with you forever. Like the fact that he could get his ankles around his ears and he ate a lot of mung beans. That image is gonna stick with me. Jesus. Where are these guys from? Other than Dukes, I mean. They're an Irish operation headed by this maniac called Gerald McCreary. He's doing time in Alderney State. Irish like those guys who robbed our bank? It could be the same ones that held me hostage. Stranger things have happened. 
What would they need a mob boss's daughter for when they got all the bank's money? How the fuck do I know? I guess greed is a powerful motivator. I got an idea. Great! What is it? We stop that bus car, we rig his balls to the battery. By the time he smells them cooking, we'll know exactly where Gracie's at. This is a great bit of improvisation, Lou, but I think we should just follow him. Leave the torture to professionals, people in government. Look, he's going through the booth tunnel. I ain't going in there, T. You think I want you to kill us? Go over and meet him where he comes out. Over by where we pick this shopper up. Okay, boss. in that thing. Actually, wait, I can see you driving a pink car, T. Why? Because people call me gay, Tony? In that case, you probably think I've got massive sculptures of cocks in my apartment as well. Gay guys love that shit, you cliche-loving moron. There was that one marble thing. going in there, team. Want you to kill us? Go over and meet him where he comes out. Over by where we pick this shopper up. Okay, boss. the second anyone expressed interest in that thing. Actually, wait, I can see you driving a pink car, T. Why? Because people call me gay, Tony? In that case, you probably think I've got massive sculptures of cocks in my apartment as well. Gay guys love that shit, you cliche-loving moron. There was that one marble thing you bought. That was art. Yeah, giant, veiny, penis-shaped art. At least you made a profit on it. Those were the days. The shit we're following. They would have checked that. Let's see if he comes out. That's him, isn't it? He better fucking take us back to Gracie now. Sacramento. Call it in. 
Let's head back to the helipad. You gonna call him? I'm texting. Look at you, bro. What? Down with the kids. You work in the business, Lou. You should know that club promoters are the first to master all new forms of communication. Always find a new way of profiting. If we pull this off, we'll profit. We'll get to keep our spinal cords. Great. I like my spinal cord, bro. It would be a fucking shame to lose it. Okay, man. Let me know if they find Grayson. I hope for our sake they do. See you soon, partner. So where yeah, to? Man. Going to Here we are then. Hey, Lou, come on in. Hang on one second. Check mate. See ya! <laughs> Little thicko never went to college. I never got into an Ivy League school. I got into two! Yeah! <laughs> come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> Take us over the bridge into the heliport. Calculating route. In 400 yards. Turn. So, I got a proposition for you, Louie. It's Louis, bro. It'll be little Louise if I want it to be. You still owe me money, so you're still my bitch. Man, Tony, you owe me, bro. Making me hang out with this jackass. Now listen to me. I got a wager. I ain't having no monster measuring contest, bro. I keep telling you I ain't into that creepy shit. No! My jackhammer would crush the shit out of you, bitch! No, 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 no. I'm talking a fair bet. Calculated risk. What's on the line, then? You terrifyingly insecure midget? Well, how about everything Tony owes me? And I promise to get out of your life if you win. Yeah, that sounds too good to be true, bro. What happens if I lose? I get everything. You're rolling with me full time, hombre. Buddies for life. All or nothing, eh? Heavenly peace or a lifetime of being tortured by some hellish imp? Shit is tough. Calculated risk. What are you gonna do? Okay, so what are we betting on? It's a race, you fucking pussy. All around the city, only for serious high roller cats. Choppers, boats, cars, and, and everything in between. So all I gotta do is win that, and you out of our lives? In theory, yes. But that ain't gonna happen, dog. Cause I never lost it nothing in my own life. Maybe that's because I had a brother as pathetic as little B. Or maybe it is because I am the S-H-I-T, bitch. Yeah, you shit, all right. Now, if you do win, which you won't, you just gotta help me with one more thing, and then all your contractual obligations are released. Okay, here's to that.
I'm gonna get your ass handed to you, you bitch. Hey, we're gonna give a head start to those on the four feet? You have all been provided! Parachutes, boats, and cars! You will be airlifted to the start where you will race from one vehicle to the next. The first person to make it to the finish in Middle Park is the winner. Are you ready? Fuck yeah! Hey, I'm racing an orange midget. Why wouldn't I be ready? Three, two, one, go!
Ouch, man. That's gotta be an expensive race for you. Bullshit, man. Someone must have sabotaged me or something. No, shit, no, I wanted to lose. You think Tony's cash means shit to me? I got other investments. Yeah, good for you, Tiny. So, um, do we gotta see each other again? I told you, Louie, one more job. I got some cars to procure, and you're gonna help me. Come by Brucey's and we'll hit it. Yeah, all right, bro. I gave my word. Hello. Hola, burrito. Rock. 